Hello and welcome back. We're continuing with Rosalina of the Prankster comic. A long running and very epic comic by MFE. I mean, we're up to page 60. Like, MFE just keeps bringing out the quality Rosalina content. What can I say? Absolute mad lad. Check him out on DeviantArt and Twitter and support him on Ko fi. That will be linked in the description. But yes, yeah, so um, they were having like a pool party in Peach's special pool room of her castle. And Daisy was explaining to Rosalina how, aren't you tired of being thin? Don't you want to be massive? Or something yeah. like that. Like the, the Daisy meme, you know the one? That's where we pick off this exciting story. da da No, I can't allow myself to become so hedonistic. A mother should put her children first. Oh, come on now, Rosalina. You don't think we've noticed? You've gotten plumper recently. You've been snacking in secret, haven't you? Maybe the reason you put up such a front is because you don't want people knowing that you secretly like this. If you weren't fighting your instincts so much, you'd be much, much bigger right now, wouldn't you? Be honest with yourself. You like having this soft tummy. <laughs> Personal space, man. <laughs> Womp. What? She's grabbing her cheeks. This double chin. And you wouldn't need a magic comet to do it, wouldn't you? You've always felt this way. You just haven't done it because, I don't know, something's holding you back. I, I have to leave. Rosalina. Daisy, what did you say? Oh uh, no, she, she said a lot. Look at all this text. This is like it was written by Stan Lee in the 60s. <laughs> Please, don't let any of them lose weight. Look, I think we're quite... I think what we're if, quite like, insane. one of them loses weight as a twist or something? I think oh. that would be acceptable. Like, there's still two of them. There's still going to be a lot of people disappointed, you know. Either. Daisy didn't do anything wrong, just speaking facts. And why some LGBT vibes here? We always vibe with some lesbian princesses. Yep, yep. Later that evening. Oh, this is not... This is a, this is a cool little lo locale. Hey, Rosalina. Daisy told me what she said to you. Are you okay? I'm really struggling with myself here. Do you want to talk about it? What Daisy said today is true. I'm trying so hard to do the right thing, but there's something wrong with me. There's a selfish side of me I've been hiding since I was very young. A greedy desire to be pampered and fed, to be fattened up. <laughs> Look how thick they are. Look at the real dreaders. That's adorable. How did Daisy know this? Daisy knows everything. Daisy is her mother. <gasps> no! What? That would be a plot twist. This feels so good. My soft round body is warm and cuddly, and I have this urge to eat everything and grow carelessly fatter. It's so unbecoming. I'm supposed to be a caretaker. I'm meant to be the one sharing my children with love and affection, but I can't do that if I live to serve myself. Being this fat for pleasure is wrong. Self-indulgent. That's why I can't be fat. <laughs> no. To be honest, Rosalita, you look amazing and beautiful as a big woman. Yeah, but what what about her children? Her little star ba does her star babies really care that much? Do they really have that many needs? I think her star children would be just as happy as they are. Besides, I think indulging with Peach and the girls would be good for Space Mom. A great mom and a great guardian. Yeah, d stop putting yourself down, Rosalie. You're still the best mom, okay? I wonder if the comet fabricated those memories. Then again, this isn't canon. You did make those memories. You were the one writing the story, altering their reality. You are, in a way, the comet. That is, that's a, that's a, a weird kind of comment. That really. is like actually a quite interesting comment. That, that's not one that we usually see. Um, but also, uh, incorrect strolling. Um, everything presented in this comic is canon. MFE does know all the Ken and Mario lore. You say the word fat, like it's a big bad thing, like it says something about your quality as a person, like the condition of your body has any bearing on, on your ability to care about others. You're not selfish just because you want to be fat. You're the most selfless person I know. You've spent your entire life looking out for others, and the universe literally wouldn't be the same without you. You inspire me to be a better person, Rosalina. And those loomers love you just as much as you love them. I bet they'd be really happy to support you after you supported them for so long. Dun -dun! Oh, 
what they why is this so deep and like Pete should be an motivational speaker or something like that. It doesn't have to be one way or the other. Part of being a family is supporting each other. It's your life, Rosalina. This has been my life for so long. As my own mother used to say, even if they have to give up the things they love, it's a parent's duty to make sure their children grow up big and happy. Oh my stars! What is it? This is all my fault! You mean the prankster comet? What? <laughs> she made the, pra the prankster comet as one of her kids? Yo! Plot twist, Rosalina made everybody fat. <laughs> Hope she doesn't want to fix it. I mean, she seems to be kind of concerned about it. Pichalina Pog, is that the ship name? Are we shipping this now? I guess that makes sense that the Prankster Comet is actually a Luma, but how the Lumas get that much power? Like, the Prankster Comet's friggin' OP. A long time ago. Rosalina, age 20. Age 20? How long ago <laughs> is this? Isn't Rosalina like thousands, hundreds of years old or something like that? My name is Rosalina. I'm the captain of the Comet Observatory, and these little star creatures treat me like their mother. It's been years since I last saw my own mother, but I still take her wisdom to heart every day. I have so many little children, it's hard for me to spend enough time with all of them. Oh, it's so cute! Aww. But I must admit, though I shouldn't have favourites, these two are mine. Why well, she's reading them a little book about loomers making little breads? Oh, oh. Eating food, hmm. Yeah. Blubber and blubber. <laughs> One of them's called blubber, <laughs> really? I mean, I don't like to have favorite kids either, but like these, these blubber and blubber look pretty cool, yeah. They're a bit rounder than the other loomers in the observatory. I suppose it's because I feed them a little too often. It's okay though, it just means they give the best cuddles. Besides, I can't have my little darlings go hungry, can I? Mama, Mama. I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, Blubber, how about some star bits? Yay! Aw, oh, Blubber's so cute! You must be very hungry today, dear. Yeah, I'm so hungry. If I fill my belly, I might transform! Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -dun. I love Transformers! Optimus Prime is my favorite! Also, we, we went to the friggin' rainbow dimension here. I, it like, it's funny how Rosalina is like, oh no, if I eat food, ugh, I'm not taking care of my children, but if I overfeed my children until they're fat little loomers, that is being a responsible parent. That's nice, Blubber. It was finally time for the day I'd been dreading. Blubber was ready to leave the observatory. No, Blubber's going. Though it filled me with sadness, I couldn't let it show. I had to help my little Luma find its true purpose. It's like my mother used to say, it's a parent's duty to make sure their children grow up big and happy, even if they have to give up the things they love. Uh, lesbian ending, please. Uh, Rosalina kissing with the other princesses, please. <laughs> I mean, okay. uh, they, they don't beat around the bush. They lay, they lay out clearly what they want. You know, yeah, and... It seems like MFE's got like a pretty good idea of, of where they want the comic to go, though, I think so. It, it seems like it, yeah. Prediction, Blubber will become the Prankster Comet. I mean, that, that's pretty much been kind of... That's pretty much what we're building up to here, right? To get ready for Blubber's transformation, I prepared a farewell cake. Dad, she's so cute in the chef outfit. Oh my god! With any luck, all this food would be enough to fill Blubber's belly. I enjoy feeding my loomers before they depart, spending one last precious moment with them before they leave. Feels like there's still a lot of room in there. Let's keep going. I fed everything I made to Blubber, but she didn't transform. Blubber looked full to bursting, at least by normal standards. But something about Blubber was different. Blubber was still hungry. Oh. What if Blubber is actually just bluffing and just wants Rosalie to feed them a ton of food just, just, just because? Chunky boy. Blubber is female. Chunky girl. <laughs> This is this is this is the correct way. DeAndre, absolute, absolute Chad just immediately corrects themselves and doesn't get upset about it. This is how you be an ally. That was a very weird tangent, okay? But anyways. After the feast failed to awaken Blubber's transformation, I continued with the feeding. Day two. <laughs> really? This this isn't looking like a loomer anymore. No. Every day I would feed Blubber more, getting bigger with each passing day. 
bigger than I'd ever seen a Luma get. I started to wonder if Blobber was ready to transform at all. Day seven. But I was fascinated in Blubber's growth and wanted to cherish our amazing time together. Why are you doing, Blubber and Blubber? How big does Blubber need to be? I kept feeding Blubber. I watched Blubber get bigger and rounder for weeks. Day 24. Dun -dun. Day 29. I gave her belly rubs and more and more star bits every day. I was sure I was awakening something within her. Day 37. Because something was awakening with me. Doki doki. She's just living vicariously through Blubber. She's like, oh my gosh, I can't get responsibly get fat, but I will, I will make my ch my child fat. <laughs> I need more when you feel like it. Now that's respectful. Wait a minute. Does Blubber become the fascinating prankster comic? That's what this you? this so. flashbacks about. That I think we can be reasonably yeah, certain. I think so. Is this being a responsible mother, though? I'm not sure. Like, Rosalina, like, maybe you should just be fat and, and stop <laughs> overfeeding your kids. Finally, the day came. Day 42. Hey, Mama, I think that's it. It's time. She's gonna blow. Blubber, I I'll always love you. Please remember that. Transform. Kaboom. Is that just normal? What was that supposed to happen? What is Blubber okay? Is Blubber alright? That's got to be the biggest amount of food a Luma's ever eaten. She blew up like the black hole that gobbled up everything in Bowser's galaxy reactor. Like, is is that just normal, or is or is Blubber or is Blubber or is Blubber had a? Is that supposed to happen? But I guess I guess I'm assuming that Blubber did indeed successfully transform. Yeah, I think, and presumably become the prankster comet. But yeah, that is all. But that is where we are. Where we are finishing this installment of the tale. But there are plenty more pages going up to oh, per, going up to page seventy-seven over on MFE's DeviantArt. If you want to, you know, find out what happens next. Does Blubber? Does Blubber explode? Did, did they transform? What do they transform into? Are they the prankster comet? Probably. I think I'm pretty sure that's what we've established here. Does Rosalina um, become even fatter? Probably. Check that all out on the MFE's DeviantArt. You can also support him on Ko-fi. If you want to, you know, chuck him some pennies to help him continue this epic comic and bringing more Rosalina content. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will be back tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye. <gasps>